Welcome to Live Darts TV. We're here at the annual Target launch and we found Dean Wayne Stanley to come and talk to us. Dean, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. I say, I bet you wish you were still a top player looking at some of the things we've just seen and some of the designs we've just seen here. It must be unbelievable. It is. Do you know something? It's the first time I've ever been to anything like this, but uh, they're very professional at what they've done. What they're designing is, is fantastic, so the only way is up for them really, isn't it? And to be involved with Lorraine with this, to, to get the chance to see this, I think it's brilliant. Does it give you the, the drive to, to get to the top again, seeing all this kind of thing? It's nice to say what you just said. I used to be a top. I used to be a good player. But uh, no, I've been playing back three months and I'm actually starting to enjoy it a little bit, uh, a little more now. And the shoulder's getting better, so anything could happen. I say, for those that don't know, you obviously you had a massive operation on that shoulder. They won't operate. They still yeah. won't operate. No, no, believe it or not, everybody seems to think I got operated yeah, I on. Yeah. saw on social media that yeah. you didn't have the operation. Good old social media. Yeah. It, it, believe it or not, I used to be a millionaire, they said as well, but uh, <laughs> that were a lie. But no, um, uh, they wouldn't operate. No, they've just been complete rubbish with me, and that's uh, boo, but I hope this goes out live because I'd love to really just get on top of them. But no. I went to his proper Olympic sports physio on there. They've been working with me and it's getting better. As I say, you played on the biggest stages. You got to a Lakeside World Final, went across to the PDC and we all saw glimpses of how good you could be. So we know the game's there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it, it is there. It's, uh, I've shown a little bits of it this weekend as well, playing a video in England comp. And uh, there were signs of, of brilliance and signs of Stevie Wonder. But, you know, there's, 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 it's not over yet. Do you still follow the darts though? I do, yes. I, I follow some of the players and uh, some of the darts and they are good, aren't they? The little ones are actually more scarier than the big ones, so yeah, it's, it's, it is good. So you were at the BDO event at the weekend. The announcement has been made that the BDO have finally lifted their side of restrictions on players. In your opinion, is this a good thing for darts or is it still a little bit confusing for some of the players? It's probably confusing for some of them. I think it's good for darts. It should be good for darts because you want to get better playing better people. So. In my case, good on them. They've done the right thing. It's going in the right direction. As I say, do you plan to play more events yourself as well over the next year to try and get that momentum back? I'd like to say 2019, yeah, we are now. I'm just going to sit in a corner and do my own thing. There's no more fines, no more DRA. I'm coming back with a vengeance. So I bet you don't miss the DRA direct debit, do you? No, no, I think they miss me. I think that's what it is. But no, you learn to be a bad boy and things go wrong. So just be a good lad and things can go right. Last question from us. We ask everyone on Live Darts this. You're captain of your pub team. Who would your six-man dream team be? You can pick anyone from any era, dead or alive. Don't even have to be a professional. Your dream team. I have a six-man team. And I'm the captain. Yeah. I'd, I'd take that. Um, I'd go for that old fitting just for the, the fun. Definitely so. I'd go for Adams. Martin Adams. Because he's now knocking on and getting too old. And he owes me millions of money. Because he's better than me. Uh, that's two. I'd actually go for Barry Earn as well, just for him to throw darts. That would be actually quite fun. We're never going to win at minute, so I'll take Barry. So let's see, I've got to find three more. Mm. Paul Lim. I bring Paul into it. He could be the big daddy. Two left. I've got to sell Lorraine, Anna, to make me sound good. Lorraine. Got to bring her in as five. And my six one. Oh dear, that's a tough one. Jesus, I hope this goes on for a long time. Um, I don't know. Eddie Lewis, hot crack. Great dream team. <laughs> Dane, th th thanks for joining us here at Live Darts. Absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you yeah, very thank much. You very much. Cheers. Cheers.